What is going on, YouTube? It's Tactical Skill in their defense channel. It's your favorite gun on the checking in. Sub made J Skills. Uh, may God bless each and one of you and continue to take care of each other. Get to know the gun laws in your state and surrounding states when traveling. Uh, I would like you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Uh, I would love, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button the most, and uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, today we're going to discuss something that I've been doing. As you can see, you see a rifle on my workbench on my on my drawing table. So we're going to get into it. This lovely AR-15, but I'm gonna do my EDC dump like always. My keys. Got some things written down right here. As you can see behind me, my desk is need to be my office need to be clean. But that's another day and another subject and another topic. Uh, my earbuds, my Trayvax wallet. My clip for my Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which I am filming off of. My lighter, my multi-tool, my pen, and then my light sword. Let's see. Of course, my extra magazine, which is, I'm carrying a Springfield Hellcat today. Uh, my handkerchief with my mask in it. And I am carrying a new knife today. Uh, the company is, is EVA Tech. Um, they was on Facebook where they would ship it out to you. All they had to do was pay the shipping and handling. Um, cool knife. I've been carrying it this, this week. Uh, what I use it for a self-defense knife. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I think I would. So we're going to continue to rock with it and see how it does. But that's my new EDC. Or, um defensive knife for right now. Uh, I am getting another uh, K-Bar, but a smaller version. But right now, I am rocking that, and it is the Eva Tech. I had to pay like $10 for the shipping in Hannah, so we're going to see what they're about. Uh, of course, my Samsung Galaxy Watch, and then my work watch. Uh, this one you saw last week when we put the 4 in on. Uh, now we're going to get into what I've done to this weapon. Um, and this is more of an educational video for those that are just now getting into firearms. Um, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I did so many small changes to it that, man, I'll probably put a couple hundred dollars into it, give or take. Um... And it's more for people that's, like I said, just now getting into guns. Um, it is, first, a Bushmaster MOE 223 Remington 5.56 NATO semi-automatic rifle with a 16-inch barrel, 30 plus 1 rounds, and it was in a light OD green. What you see right here is a, the darker OD green, which I got off. Where did I get this off? I got this off um, Magpul. A lot of, well, all the furniture's from Magpul. But Magpul had a darker green. So when I changed the stock out, which would get over it, I end up, when they sent me this particular stock, it was a darker OD green than what originally came on the gun itself. So once I did that, I had to make a decision that I want to change the foreign out. I end up changing it out to black, and now it's now to an OD green. But we're gonna get into that from front. To, I mean, from back to front is the way I'm gonna go with it. Um, like I said, I'm gonna start with the the stock. Um, and man, kind of see what you want before you go out here and just and and because I got enough to build another gun, another rifle. Um, that's how much junk I done bought and replaced on this gun. So we're gonna start with the with the um stock because I don't want to be too long in this video, but it's more of an educate like I said educational video for those. Let's just not get into it and 
you see some, then you want to buy it, then you go buy something else, then you just keep on switching. So, um, first thing is a stock. Before, when I when I first purchased it, it came with a MOE, which is Magpul carbine stock. Um, I I believe it does have a mil spec um, buffer tube on it, and it was a light OD green. And the original price for it, if you go on the website, is thirty nine ninety five. If you go on the website, so this is the old. This is the box. And I'll show you the reason why I decided to even, you see how this one is more fatter than the original. And what I mean, you see that OD green, you see how dark this OD green is? So when I got it, it was a light OD green, but when I bought it from the Magpul website, it became a real forced dark OD green. So I didn't like the stock because it was too skinny in the back, so I ended up switching it for this. So this stock that I replaced this one with, which I got off Magpul again. Um, I should have. No, not the hand guard. Yes. Um, was the sorry, y'all. I just okay. It's the ACS, uh, which is it's a Magpul carbine stock mil spec, and it's eighty nine ninety five on the Magpul website. So that's what I did with that. So that is the stock. Now we're gonna work our way in the middle of the gun of what I replaced. I replaced the 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 um, the grip. The grip came with, once again, like I said before, it came with a lighter OD green. I switched it out to all black. Um, so I left the I left the um the, the grip black, but we're gonna go into the grip. Um, it was a, this a Mapu. MOE grip AR15 M14 OD green, which I said was a light OD green, and on that website it goes from 1995, um, which was already on the gun, and I replaced it with a MOE K2 Plus grip AR15 M4 black. For twenty four ninety five, that's how much it goes on their website. So, and these just prices that I'm, I'm pulling off the website. So they might be accurate, they might not. So that's your hand grip. I did change that out. Trust you, I'm at. Okay, I'm on eight minutes. Okay, we want to go with the with the hand guard. Now it, it was original hand guard. I mean original um trigger. What is it called? A trigger guard, which was an all black Magpul trigger guard. I think they run for about ten dollars on their website. I didn't feel like looking that up. Well, I did go with the Strike Industries um, Cobra Ballet Aluminum Trigger Guard, and it cost me, according to their website, twenty three ninety five at the time that I bought it. That could be accurate. That could not be accurate. But what it is. With this hand guard, you can literally, it's shaped like a cobra, and you can rest your hand on this right here. So that's why I like it. So you can literally keep your hand on, rest your hand, and that's what that, that, that cobra head. So that's that's the top, the top of the cobra head, and you can rest your, your finger on the trigger guard. That's why I got this in and, and, and took the... Mag pull one off because I like that I can rest my hand on the trigger guard. Uh, next one, we're going to go up top to the scope. Um, the scope is a, um, a Bar Barsco B A R S K A AC 11 390A 
multi-rail 1 by 30 sight with flashlight and red laser cross dot reticle. It's in black and I believe I bought it at the time for $9.99.99. Um, um, which the batteries ran out but that's your light. That's your um, red dot and that's your laser. Let y'all get a closer look. Dot, I mean, uh, laser, red dot, and your light. So it's all in one. I think I'm end up changing it and putting a um, magnifier and what's the name on it, which it means I have to put a light or something on the rail system. But that's another day, another dollar. Okay, after that, we're gonna go to the BAD lever. Which everybody, if you've been in the gun world, you know about rifles. That's the comes down into your trigger guard to where you don't have to leave your trigger guard in order to um, make your uh, bolt come forward and put one in a pipe. Um, that is your BAD level battery assist device for AR-15 to I mean slash M4, and they got it on which is a mag pool. They got it on their website for twenty nine ninety five. Um, I believe that's how much I paid for it. Um, the next one is going to be what you're seeing. This piece sitting right here on, on the side of the magwell. And let me do a quick demonstration. We ain't gonna go through the actions of it, but what I like about it is you can sit two magazines, and it's just my 60 rounder and my 40 rounder, and you can have a hundred rounds on here at one time. But you see, it's called a ready mag. I don't know if y'all can see that, but ready mag. And what you do is you just hit this button right here, and it'll pop the magazine out. Then you hit the button on the side of the rifle to pop that out. And then you just stick this one in. Um, at the time, I don't know how much I paid for it, but the roughly price for it, when I just looked it up online not too, just a minute ago, it's called the Ready Mag System. I think it cost me between $85 to $150, somewhere in there, give or take, uh, when I bought it. After that, how am I doing on time? 12 minutes. We're going to try to do this in 15 minutes. I'll try to let me do this in 15 minutes. Okay, so after that, we're going to go to the magazines. Um, I bought a 40 rounder off um, Magpul. I can't remember the price. It's about between 20 to 30 bucks, 40 round magazine. Um, I did go out and get the American Tactical 60 round um, uh, mag. I wanted to get the Magpul. Uh, drum, but the drum would interfere. It would have interfered with my ready mag system, and I spent too much money not to utilize my ready mag system. But I was able to find a 60 round mag at American Tactical, which it runs really good. I have, have no hiccups with it, so I like it. But that particular 60 rounder, I, don't, I believe I paid about, I don't think I paid no more than between 30 to 50 bucks for it. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me. Um, now we're going to go to the, the forehand, which I've changed twice. Um, and this is the box for the scope. If you ever wanted to know what it is, that's what it is. Okay. This piece right here, vertical forehand, which is OD green. I added it on. Um, that one is a, a Magpul AFG angled foregrip, an OD green. The website lists it for four thirty-four ninety-five. Um, now let's go to the handguard. The original handguard that came on here, like I said before, is a light OD green. Which you see is lighter than the one I have on here. That one, and this is the old handguard, which is black that came off of it. That was um, Magpul. Uh, it was an MOE M lock hand 
guard, carbon length, um, OD green, light OD green for $29.95. That, that's what originally was on this gun. I changed that out from a green. I'm telling y'all, don't be like me. I spent so much money on replacing parts. So the darker OD green, which is what, what's on here. No, no, I, I did the black. So I did the black. Um, the base is still the same one. MOE, M-Lock, Handguard, Carbon Length for $29.95, which is in black. I changed this out to a longer style. OD green, as you can see on there. It's a longer hand grip. It's the MOE SC handguard carbon length AR15 M4 OD green at $34.95. Is what they got listed on their website. Um, that's it. That's the list that's on here. Uh, man, make sure you know what you want before you get the twiddling with them. These are the two, which is the light OD green. They gave me an OD green with a C window in it. And then this is the black one, all black one they gave me. They gave me two 30, rounds, 30 rounders when I bought it. Um, I'm doing good. So we about to get off this. Um, but there she goes. I'm going to put a Magpul bipod on here. And I might change out the the, um, the sight. But I don't think I am. Because the sight, when I when I do shoot it, it's, just, it's, very, it's very accurate. So. But, yeah, man. Know what you want before you start spending a bunch of money. Um, I've done that to a couple of my guns, and I can build a whole new gun, man. I wish I never did it, but I did it, and that's just what it is. Uh, educate yourself before you get to changing parts, because you end up spending a lot of unnecessary money. That's what this video is for, spending a lot of unnecessary money that you don't have to when you get what you want the first time. Um, a lot, of, like I said, a lot of this stuff, I mean, a lot of that I kept on it, but some of it I did go back and go over two or three times, like the hand guard. I think the hand guard is the only thing I went over two or three times, um, on this particular rifle of mine. But I could say myself, I think it's 30, 30 bucks if I would just went with the one off, the one that came that was light OD green, and I would just went with this straight one right here. And I would have saved myself 30 bucks on the black handguard. Um, so, uh, look around before you get to buy parts for your, for your rifle or for your handgun. Because you'll see yourself continuing to spend money on the same rifles when you could have spent some money and got you a, a whole new one. But this one is uh, f pretty much finished. Uh, like I said, I'm put a my pod on here. And that part, that's probably going to be it, man. I'm pretty much done with this gun. I'm going to spend enough money and enough time on it um, to get it to where I like it. It does, it did come up with the, uh, you know, it got the fixed light, it's sight in front. And it did come with the um, flip, uh, mag pool flip up sight. I like it because it coincides, it coincides with my, uh, with my red dot. So, I think the only thing I'm going to end up doing, like I said, is getting a mag pool bipod put on it. And she's pretty much, she's pretty much done, man. So, just a little educational video. Figure out what you want. Do your research before you get to buying. Well, you'll be like me, spending unnecessary money on unnecessary parts. So, um, I might be giving some of this junk away on my channel. I mean, like this. Uh, right along with the four in. And then I got to stop. I'm not going to do anything with it. I don't think I'm going to go back to it. I think I might. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go back to it. So I might just. I don't know. After a thousand subscribers. I might do it as a combo. Somebody might be building them an AR. And just need some spare parts. Hey, here go our AR-15 with the stock. The four. Uh, the, the grip. And the fouring. All in one. Same color. I don't know. I'll reach that roll when that roll comes. But I'm going to get off this. Uh, continue to take care of each other. And may God bless each and every one of you. Keep positive vibes going. Man, I love nothing but positive feedback that I've been getting. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I think I'm at 140 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys. 
Um, like I say in every video before I get off of it, if you have a channel, a gun channel, and you're active, um, I will subscribe. But if you're not active on that gun channel, I don't know if it's a dummy page or, you know, it's not your page. If you're not active on it, then I'm not going to go and subscri subscribe. But if you're active on it, I will subscribe. So if you do have a gun channel that you want me to check out, leave it in the comments down below. And uh, may God bless each and every one of you. And uh, I'm out. Peace. Y'all be blessed.